Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so as you can see from the title, I am going to be doing my February favorites. And I've had to re-record re this like three different times because the video is just too large. So now I'm just going to be doing overviews of my favorite products of the month. And then I'll be doing a more in-depth um, reviews on my blog. So go make sure to go check that out. I'll put all the links down in the down bar below. So let's just get started. Favorite brushes is my premium brush set from Sigma and this actually includes my premium and my complete set the old the old version which was just like the pink but I love I love these brushes they're amazing sorry they're like dusty and I also love the brush holder that I got also and if you want to check check these out please I do have a link down in the down bar please go check that out if you want to buy these um, but I absolutely love these products. My favorite eyeliner is my MAC 266 brush. I love this brush. This is so precise. It's amazing. And I'm basically, since I've gotten it, I've used it almost every day. And as you can see, it's like dirty. But I use this all the time. I love this brush. Okay, my favorite foundation brush is from Sona Kashuk. And I forgot what which collection this is from, but I absolutely love this brush. This is a just a flat top kabuki brush. I love this brush. It's amazing. And so this is another Sony Kashuk brush, and this is also a favorite of mine. And this is a foundation rounded brush, I think this is called. But I use this one for foundation, and I love it for that. Love this brush. So next is my eyeliner. This is the Master Precision um, Eyeliner from Maybelline Master Precise. Sorry, I love this. This is amazing. It's like I love the brush on this, and it just writes so nice. So nice. Like, look at that. Precise. 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 Like, love it. My other favorite liner is my Lunar Intense liner. I love this liner. This is like, this is also felt tip. You've heard so many reviews about this. But my perspective is this is amazing. I love this. The brush does move a lot, just does move, but as long as you have a steady hand, you'll be able to work with this. So I, I love this liner. My favorite gel liner is my. Um, L'Oreal Hip Gel Liner in Black. This is the, this is amazing. Like seriously, absolutely amazing. Last all day and I just absolutely love this product. It's just, and it's just like super creamy. I just love this. Okay, my favorite eyeliners are this one from Urban Decay. It's the Zero Liner. I got this in my makeup palette and mine was almost done. So I had to definitely get another one. I love this product. This product is amazing. It's like really black. It lasts for a long time, and that's it right there. It lasts for such a long time, and I just love that liner. My next one is my Stila Cajole Eyeliner in Topaz, and I absolutely love this. I only use this on my waterline, but this is like love right now. Like, absolute love. And that is a swatch of that one right there. It's amazing. This lasts for a very long while. I've had this on from like 9, 8, no, not even 8.30 a.m. to like, and I didn't take off my makeup until like 8 p.m. And this was still on. It was still looking pretty good. And yeah, this definitely impressed me. Okay, next, Maybelline I see Color Tattoo. You've heard so much about these, but I love these. I only use this as bases. I haven't used this as shadow yet, but I will soon. And I have bold gold, which is just a sparkly gold color. Too cool, which is a sparkly white color. And edgy emerald, which is a green. Edgy emerald. So I only was able to get three. I really wanted to get tough as taupe, and the other one I forgot was and something bronze. I really wanted to get the, that one, but I love these. These are amazing. 
definitely worth the money. My favorite palette is, of course, I have to put this in here, my Naked 2 palette from Urban K. This was $50, but it's so worth it. I do have the original one, and I wanted to get this one because I don't really have Urban K palettes. Naked are actually the only ones I own, but I love these. These look so amazing. It's so painted as the last one was, and it comes with a really, really nice brush. I love this brush. It's I use it basically like all the time now, but that brush is just amazing. And I love the packaging. It just clicks. You know it's not going to like come out. I love it. My favorite blushes in the moment are the Milani Baked Blushes. I am, I do have four right now, but I'm getting the whole thing so I can do a review. So I'm not going to say too much about them until the review comes, until, until I do the review. But I love these, these are very pigmented, and yeah, I love them all. Like, so I just went ahead and got all of them because these are amazing. My favorite lip glosses are the NYX Girl Lip Glosses, and I have one in Real Nude. And one in natural and I do have a lot more but these are just the ones I've been wearing all month and these basically they're nudes I love them every time I wear these I get compliments on them and the difference between these is that one is more purpley and one is more pinky so I just love these these are amazing amazing such a great deal and you can actually get these off of Cherry Culture site for $1.99. I can't find these on the NYX site, but Cherry Culture has them, so check them out. Next is my MAC lipsticks. Oh, I just I just started like I just started getting MAC lipsticks um in January and I only have two so far, but I'm impressed. I love these lipsticks. I will be getting more. And I'm just gonna start collecting MAC lipsticks. Like seriously. I have one in Vegas Fault, and this is the Amplified Lipstick, and it looks like that. This is a corally orange, pinky color, I should say. It looks like that. This is a small swatch, but it smells amazing. It does, and it just goes on so smoothly. I love this lipstick. Okay, next, I just got this today, and I had to put this in there, so this is like my most favorited product and this is the Nicki Minaj um this is the Viva Glam Nicki and this is a satin and it has like her signature and it's like a really bright pink it has like I have no idea what I'm trying to do so I only it's pink. But maybe if I swatch it Okay, looks like it has purple undertones, and I just love it. I love this color. It's amazing. I love it because I saw the Mac. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. Check out the blog if you want to see my story on this. Okay, so my next favorite lipstick is my Revlon lipstick, and this is in pink velvet, and this is a cream, and it looks like this. This is darker than the other lipsticks that I have, and I absolutely love this lipstick. Um, I did have, uh, do have another Revlon lipstick, but I didn't like that color, but I'll tell you that in the blog if you want to hear a more in-depth review about this color. But this is like a dark berry pink, and I love this lipstick, it's just, it has no smell, but I don't care. I love this lipstick, this is amazing. I'm so in love with lipsticks right now, but that's the color right there. But, yeah. Okay, this is my first Sephora by OPI Nail Polish, but I, I keep messing up the name. I do apologize if I just butchered it, but Sephora. Okay, there you go. And this is in high maintenance. I love this color. This is like a bright orangey red, and it's like basically like a bright tomato, but I love this color. It's amazing. It's just like, I love this color. I wore it. It's I have swatches on my blog. Check it out. But I love this color. And next is all my all of my Revlon Color Stay nail polishes. I have Stormy Nights, Fall Mood, Marmalade, and Sorbet. I love these. There are swatches on my blog. 
you can go check out my review on these because I will not be saying anything else on here but just know these are my favorites I love these colors they're amazing and I will be getting more next is my I just this is a sample size but it's my Clinique moisture surge yeah and it's a gel formula I love this every time I use this my skin just feels so smooth and I just love 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 this product and mm, just I just love this product I really do it's so smooth and I just love 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 this product next is my hair product and this is kinky curly not today um leave-in conditioner I love this it smells so nice I am so 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 in love with this product <sighs> like it smells nice it feels great in my hair my hair is always nice and smooth and uh, I just love this the only thing with this is that when I put it on wet hair it feels like ants like I put it in there it feels greasy but when it dries it actually doesn't feel that way at all but other than that favorite my last favorite of the month is my ever sleek sulfate free um, smoothing shampoo I love this shampoo because um, y'all know I have dandruff and because I have dandruff I always have to use dandruff shampoo products and conditioner products but this actually makes my doesn't like irritate my head as doesn't basically doesn't even irritate my head at all and I just love this I love that I can now use regular shampoo on my hair but I do still use my dandruff shampoo um, like once a month but I'm using this like every week now so love this okay so that was really quick sorry um but again I will have more in-depth reviews on my blog so check that out um please make sure to comment like subscribe hopefully that you, hopefully y'all having a good day a good night a good weekend and i'll see you in my later videos bye guys make sure to check out my blog because i will have a more in-depth review on all the products i um said in this video and i will also put more swatches on there so you can just see it more clearly and yeah so i will see you in my later videos